Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we will be working with the inspection system. So this will be the first part. Um, the inspection system in itself will take about two, three parts maybe. Um, so we'll start off with the base today. Okay. We already have the uh, pickup base right now. So within this, we'll be implementing our pickup base. Uh, inspection system as it is okay so let's open up our pickup base and over here we'll actually make one variable and this one will be b inspecting okay and the thing is um, we already have the begin pickup and once our timer runs out we end pickup right so from here, what we'll do, we'll do a branch over here. If it is less than zero, um, not inspecting, uh, B inspection. Okay. So um, if it is false, then we'll actually directly go to end pickup as well as we'll go to the calculate pickup over here as well. And also over here, we'll do the same thing. Um, if B inspection is false, then we'll go to end pickup. Otherwise, we'll go to interactions. We'll create a new custom event over here. And we'll call this um, start ins inspection. Okay. And let's call that function over here start inspection and on also over here start inspection and <clears throat> okay so what do we want to do if we have our inspection the first thing we would like to do is um, we'll get the character if right if it is valid We'll also get the controller. Okay. Or we can get the controller from here. Get controller. And we'll disable input over here. So our character cannot move anymore. Right. Uh, this will be our. Okay. Since this is not a player controller, we can actually cast over here. But since we are only making a single player game. Let's just get the player controller directly. From here to get the player controller. Okay. And now. Mm, after we have disabled the input. Um, we want to enable input. And enable input for this one would be the self okay so now we'll be controlling with this pickup base in itself and why we're doing this you'll understand in a while but and after this we should actually we'll create a widget and this widget we'll have to create so let us go to the horror folder widget and user interface ui underscore inspect and we'll make this one over here also open up the inspect one over here in the graph we'll add a new variable and this one will be the pickup reference and this one will be the BP pickup base. And uh, also we'll make it to um, expose on spawn instance editable. So now if we go to the pickup base and refresh this node, you can see the pickup reference. I can just give it to a self, right? And then I will add to viewport. Okay. And make it to 50 
the z order is in 50 because we will have our hud player hud as it is all the time so we'll be adding this above our hud in itself okay that's why so once that is done we also need to create another function and you know what i will just um, cut this one out create a new function over here and call this um initia initiate um interaction okay and there we go we are done like this okay and from here we'll call the start um what did I call start inspection yeah. start inspection okay from here so I'll just go back and change these with the initiate interaction also in the calculate uh, pickup cooldown as well over here I will initiate the interaction delete that okay I go over here visible and then start inspection comes here and the inspection over here what I'll do is I'll get the static mesh and I will set location relative location and I need to get the player camera manager I'll get the forward vector of this and the get actor right vector of this right and I'll multiply this both of these and change this to a float double precision I'll make this to maybe 30 and uh, 30 over here and add these up okay I also get the actor location of this and then just add to all of this right and this will be our new location so let's see how it goes so I go here and I'll do something go to the flashlight class default and make it to zero so sorry I'll make it to zero so I can pick it up as soon as I interact with it and where did it go um I'll make it a bit lower and um, make it two into two let's see press F8 to get out and see where the pickup is where did the pickup go flashlight all right that's why hmm. close it out and I forgot to do it in the class default that inspection you have to set it to true otherwise you are just picking it up right so press E and it's way too close so yeah like I said uh, it has to be about 50 and 30 ish yeah so as you can say it's working but we have to tone down the transform of it so what I'll do is uh, set transform actually you know what set actor transform set actor transform and from here make transform what I'm gonna do is teleport I'll get actor transform actually I don't need to uh, the scale yeah um 
get actor scale 3d and from here I'll just divide it again convert it to a float double precision and just I'll divide it by let's say 5 okay to make it smaller and let's see and now you can see um, our inspection item is over there by the side of the door and well this is okay um, I would like to do something um, how about um, I add a point light over here and by default the visibility will be set to false and when I'm start inspecting I'll make another is inspecting will be too true here and what I'll do is I'll set visibility to true okay and this point light will be behind this okay now now what it does is it gives a better idea about where the hmm, about our item that is being picked up right and right now as you can see the light is behind this uh we want the light to go actually behind this right so what we'll do is um we will set act sorry set location to be um multiply this with something bigger let's say 60 right and set it off like this and now let's check and you can see it's much better we can actually separate the mesh that we should be looking at uh, with the background in itself also um, even if I move over here you can see this is much better the light actually moves behind um, I'll show you from here if I'm press F8 and I can't see the flashlight actually to be honest and that's all right um, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna add this one as well so I'm gonna add it with the right vector as well so it's properly over there and show collisions wow. does the point light show collision in itself no it doesn't but you can see the light is somewhere here over there so it's working at least uh, you can make it to 80 to make it much more better I guess behind okay so truly really up to you so whatever is feels better for you uh, make it 40 and let's see how it looks mm, 10 10 would be way too in front right 10 10 yeah 10 is way to front 20 yeah 20 is good see this is really and this one will be like 2 or something we don't want it to be like way too off the screen yeah this is fine 
So as you can see, um, this is much better. You can see the object clearly. And then what we'll do is, um, once this is done, um, yeah, um, in the pickup base in itself, go to the event graph um, over here, type in, uh, actually, let's see what we have for those, go to the input and check this. Um, turn right and look up right so turn right and look up for the mouse right and what we'll do is we'll add rotation add a uh, local rotation and the turn will actually move it in the Z and for the up and down I think I'll move more both the X and the Y and let's see how it works yeah you see I can actually like rotate it but yeah the flashlight moves as well so <clears throat> what I have to do is um, go to the interaction and detach keep world okay and yeah that's a problem uh, sorry you will set this one then you have to detach right so go ahead and once that is done now you see now you can move your <coughs> item and it does not actually rotate the flashlight uh, sorry the point light as it is right and also there's one more thing that you can still interact with this so what we'll do is um, once inspection has been started we'll set collision enabled to be false so now that precy to pick up pop up does not um, go up as you can see it's no longer showing up and while this is good uh, what we also need is um, we have our initiate over here what we'll do is set show mouse cursor to be true before going in like that so um, wait uh, set show mouse cursor should be to true and now while this one feels a bit clumsy actually we'll work through this and see which way would look the best for us because right now with the showing of the mouse it like kind of looks annoying I would say but it's fine for now like I can interact with this make it turn right inspect it a bit and that's fine um, now in the UI inspection um, you also need to be able to close it out so what we'll do is um, we will promote this to a variable and we'll call this uh, inspection UI reference and from here we'll add a new 
action mapping and this one will be the back key and this one will be either on escape or for backspace for our editor because if you press the escape it will just uh, stop playing right so that's why we'll record the backspace so in our pickup base over here let's go to our event graph and over here um, if I type in back action event I'll get this okay what I'll do is um, remove from parent and I will need to call the end pickup that is over here the end pickup that we are were supposed to call okay this one but also before that uh, we'll also have to go to initiate interaction and I'll just copy paste these right uh, all of these so let us go back paste it out now over here um, we'll disable input for the self over here and enable input for the character itself and then we'll set the show mouse cursor to false okay and once that is done make it a bit tidy as much as you can and then finally call the end pickup that's it you are done so let's see uh, on, putting, on pressing escape I press E I can interact with it move around good I press the backspace and backspace doesn't seem to be working so let's see what the issue is over here I'll go to the flashlight and when I try to press back something's not working yeah character reference is no longer valid so what we'll do is um, mm, okay what we'll do is uh, go to the initiate interaction um, in the UI inspect we'll create another variable and this one will be our character reference okay and this one will be our um, third person character again a insensitive expose on spawn and on the pickup base again refresh this one out and our character reference would be this right and let us go to our event graph we no longer need these out okay um we'll check if this is valid and we'll call a function for this ui inspection we'll create a custom event and remove widget and I'll paste this here and our character reference is this is valid mm. and then remove from remove widget uh, sorry um uh what is it called remove from parent yeah so there we go mm. 
and over here in the pickup base uh, we'll call this function remove widget let's go ahead we have the function and this won't be self this will be pickup reference make sure this is valid as well and the other thing would be before that end pickup message actually just get the pickup reference like this and that's fine okay let's play again and let's see I picked it up I can move it around I click press backspace and it's moving but it did not delete it and player doesn't have flashlight so hmm. the problem is this doesn't get called again because the character reference is invalid again right so what we should do is uh, on the end pickup that is in the BPI right um, let's go ahead into the BPI and in the end pickup we'll have an input and this one will be the third person character sorry third person character object reference and we'll call it character reference right and then again from the flashlight we'll directly plug this in and delete this and in the inspection character reference will be our character ref from here like this okay and in our pickup base now that we have made changes we have to go back to our interactions graph over here and then we have the when it is false we'll directly plug in our character reference like this here as well character reference directly and anywhere else I don't think so and also yeah no we're done so let's check press backscape a uh, backspace sorry and now I have the flashlight which is good really good Now the thing is, um, in our third person, let's go over there. How was I? Sorry, what did I? Third person. My bad. Third person character. So, okay, the flashlight is like by default, right? And we're just making the flashlight over here directly and that's how we are doing it so in the turn on flashlight play montage hmm. and find references get flashlight get flashlight add inventory attached to component uh, and then again add inventory where does it go initialization the begin play we're adding the inventory so now this is where we'll be actually like um, what is this smq3 I'm setting it to point one point one point one right hmm So what I'll do is um, in the add inventory um, spawn actor from class and this one will be the same as this smq3 SM, actually this is a static mesh it's not a flashlight in itself so um, 
our best bet would be to actually like store this uh, flashlight in itself which we'll, we'll do during our inventory in itself okay for now I'll just leave it like this it's good enough but when we make our inventory we should actually be storing this flashlight data in itself okay so I can check break brace backspace to close this okay and we're using it so this is good our inspection system is working and yeah uh, so in our UI inspection over here um, in our designer graph we'll add a canvas panel and we'll add texts over here okay Mm. and this will be um again uh right now we'll have yeah mm. we'll wrap this up with a horizontal box sorry about that so i'll wrap this up with a horizontal box and then i'll add two more text blocks this one this one could be an image of mm, or anything that's fine for now yeah this will be an image later on like it will actually take what key it is that we should press from here the action button that we should press over here to actually mm. but right now let's just put it as back and this one will be press back to collect okay and size to content and this one will be below the screen like that positions that's fine so let's see back to collect so what is that okay that's the shadow okay so what we'll do is um, once I've collected as it is um, I will set cast shadow for the static mesh to be false right so it no longer casts the shadow for this yeah and you will no longer have that issue actually uh, we don't need to show the mouse right actually it's kind of annoying me yeah. We don't need the mouse so mm, and also during the UI inspect graph set show mouse we don't need it again so bro, seriously did I just not said you don't need to show the mouse initiate interaction right yeah we are no longer showing the mouse right also the player HUD is kind of annoying a bit so what I'll do is pick a base mm. Wait, where did I um, add the third person character initialization graph? 
main HUD. We have a main HUD reference in our third person character itself. So pick up base, uh, interaction, um, initiate over here, main HUD, um, set visit. Um, set visibility to collapsed and then again um once it's being closed um in the ui inspection over here i'll do this and this one will be visible again and character reference is done let's go ahead yeah perfect need to move the flashlight a bit further and now if I press back and my UI is back again as you can see and I have the flashlight so everything's working fine so far at least without any issues and this will be all for this lecture i think i'm way above 30 minutes at this point so thank you guys and i will see you in the next lesson